good evening ladies and gentlemen my name is ashish and uh, oh, i welcome all of you for yet another webinar organized by set class now this is a very special webinar wherein we have invited young guests lovely to have all of you here lovely to have our young guest uh, on the on the call with us i think this is the first time that we are having uh, having a young guest on the platform or on the call with us so very happy to have, have all of them there now in this webinar it's a very unique webinar which is designed and conceptualized by amit and uh, from hgfc mutual fund who will be here with us uh, and actually no better person who has done the entire present who has uh, completely conceptualized it but before i before i hand over it to amit i would like to uh, give you some housekeeping rules the way we do it every time so what we'll do is amit is going to run the presentation for about 30 to 40 minutes or so and then we are going to open it for your question and answers during the presentation also you can put your comments or questions in the chat box and we'll cover it after the presentation so with this i don't want to come in between uh, between mission to mars and that and the and the people on the call so over to you amit and uh, i hope you can uh, you can take all of us uh, on a ride to mission to mars today sure perfect uh, thank you ashish uh, pleasure is uh, all mine uh, good evening children uh, wish you a happy happy children's day uh, we will try to make this session happy and prosperous uh, prosperous in a way that you will be able to create amazing money for yourself and for your family. Uh, actually, uh, why are we doing this session? I'm sure as kids, when you got this invite, you must have first thought, you know why, why are at such a young age we have been taught about money? Okay. Uh, because we generally think that money investments and everything is first of all, it's a very boring topic. And we also think that it's basically only elders who can understand about money and investments. Let me give you some interesting thoughts. The world's richest investor, his name is Warren Buffett. Today, his age is approximately 92 years. He started investing at the age of 11. So anyone who's around 12, 13, 14, 15 or 20, and you're thinking, why are we learning at this age? Remember, Warren Buffett started at the age of 11. And you know, when he was asked, what is your biggest regret in life? Aapki life ka sabse bada regret kya hai? And you know what Warren Buffett said? He said, I wish I would have started a little early. For all the kids, you have to understand that what we are discussing today is honestly not that difficult. It's very simple. And the only thing is somewhere we always believe that, you know what, ideally the subject is not for me because when I look at school curriculum, my son is around 10 years old. When I look at his curriculum also, basically today's kids are taught everything. They're taught history. They're taught math, science, languages, okay? uh, possibly everything. Today's kids are even learning programming and coding. But most important subject, which ideally children will use all their life is not taught in school, which is called as money, investments, and personal finance. Leave about school. Ye college mein bhi nahi jata. College chodo. Agar aap higher education karoge na, usi mein bhi nahi jata. So today we'll talk about a subject, which is extremely important, which you will use in your life, but nobody talks about it. So let's try to understand this. In fact, my son has also attended a session many times. Uh, and whenever I do the session, he asks, he's basically the first one to ask me a lot of questions. And unfortunately he puts the most difficult questions to me. Okay. In spite of attending the session many times, I would request all the participants to put all your questions in the chat box. Once the session gets over, I will try to answer all your questions. The session will also have a lot of challenges. Whenever I ask, put a question across to you, put your answers in the chat box. I will read your answers. And we'll try to find answers to those challenges. So basically, uh, we all know last two years have not been the best for us. We were in COVID, we were in the lockdown and honestly, as children, it was not the best time. Children are supposed to be actually playing outside, having fun. Unfortunately, you are locked and you are doing schooling with this platform, which is called a zoom. Uh, technology has its benefit and also has a disadvantage. The good part is at least thankfully because of zoom, we were able to study, but then obviously we lost the fun of going out today. We are also doing the session on zoom. I wish we could have done it physically, but the good part about zoom is that children from across the country, across the country are today participating in the session, which is the benefit of technology. I'm sure there must be some kids from Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, UP, okay, somebody from Tamil Nadu different kids, different geographies, and we are able to understand this, a benefit of technology. Now, all 
we have got around 57 participants all of you all the 57 participants all of you have been selected for a very interesting mission called as mission mars now it's a 10 day trip it's a mission the key to survival at mission mars is that you have to actually play as a team so i'll put questions across in the in the entire session please keep the chat box up and running when i ask a question put your answers in the chat box if in case you can maybe start with saying hi to all of us okay i'm putting a hi to everyone okay so that basically let's see if in case your chat box is working and maybe you can say from which place you belong okay uh so there is mukesh and mukesh uh, you can also say from which place you all of us all of you belong so i we know basically uh, who all participants are there tamil nadu good chennai jaspreet is from delhi good perfect and maybe if in case uh, by chance if you are using your parents laptop maybe you can change your name and you can put your name darshak is from gujarat good perfect perfect so we have got kids from across the country uh, there is somebody from lucknow uh, preksha from chennai perfect so we have got people across the country now let's try to understand this keep this chat box on so i'll ask you questions let's try and solve and learn everything about money and investments so let's start with the first question okay uh, it's mission mars you have already left your parents have agreed can you believe it your parents have agreed for a 10 days mission trip okay your space station has already reached mars now let's let's try to survive let's try to have fun and let, let's try to uh, solve all the challenges at the mission mars now this trip like i told you is for 10 days okay you will get two water bottles per day simple math question two water bottles per day but you will get this water bottle only for 5 days the last 5 days you will get no water bottles now think imagine how much water will you consume every day okay if you could put the answer in the chat box how much water will you consume every day bhuvan is saying one bottle okay anyone else so panch din ka trip hai 10 din ka trip hai panch din pani milega roz do bottle pani milega okay nitin is also saying one bottle a lot of you are saying basically one bottle okay so unanimously most of you are saying basically one bottle which is mathematically right okay now let's try to understand this from a life perspective okay life ko bhi teen hisson mein baanta ja sakta hai it can be divided into three parts if i look at my life the first 25 years of my life is when i was studying okay this is when i was doing my engineering i did my mba okay that's a time when i'm gaining all the skills the next 25 years let's say from 25 years to 50 55 years only these 30 years actually i'll be earning money and then the last 30 years let's say from 55 years to 85 years i will have zero income because i'm retired right now and i have zero income now think from a very logical perspective from which age should i start saving and investing assuming that only 30 years i earn 30 years i don't earn because i'm retired so from which age should i start saving and investing so bhuvan is saying 25 John is saying, "Okay, uh, some of you are also saying fifteen, ten, which is that means it's your age. You should start do start do do it as soon as possible. Yes, see, logically, you should start doing it right now. But you might also ask, you know, what I am not earning money right now. You would start earning at the age of twenty five when you start actually. You did you do all your qualifications? You have studied well and you have learned all the skills. So basically, you should start saving and investing from your first salary check. The moment you start earning." from that very same day you should start saving and investing now you might say oh that's so simple and and you must be also thinking that it's so logical everybody must be doing it right but you'll be surprised not everybody does it in fact if i give you my example when actually when i was 25 and i started working i thought i will save and invest but then i saw my friends having a new mobile phone uh buying fancy clothes going for fancy vacations and they are posting photographs of amazing restaurants and everything i thought you know what saving and investments can happen later let me enjoy my life and i kept on spending money and then i was around 28 29 i saw my friends posting pictures of amazing uh, destination weddings even i also had a very good wedding spent a lot of money i thought saving and investing can happen later then i thought about buying my car because everybody was buying it then i also thought about Uh, you know what let's everybody is going for fancy vacations and i forgot about saving and investing 
So it seems very logical. You know what? I will just have one bottle per day. But the temptations are very high. To understand temp temptations, I will actually give you a homework. Okay, and this homework will actually help you understand how generally we fall into this trap of temptation. So when this session gets over, go on YouTube and write something called as marshmallow. It's called marshmallow experiment. छोटे बच्चे थे आपकी एज के ही अराउंड आठ से दस बारह साल के बच्चे थे and these kids were given something called as marshmallow, which is very sweet. उनके सामने रखा गया था and these kids were told wait for fifteen minutes and you will get two marshmallows. Surprisingly, seventy percent of the kids were not able to wait for two minutes or fifteen minutes because the temptation was very high. It's like you going for a vacation, okay, for two days and or a picnic for two days, and I tell you, I give you two chocolates. Have one chocolate today. Have the second chocolate tomorrow. The problem is, the moment you have the first chocolate, then there'll be a temptation. You'll have the second chocolate also. The problem is that the temptations are too. The temptations are very high, and you forget about the idea of saving and investing. So the first thing is that technically you have to plan, and you also also have to understand there are too many temptations. You have to stick to your plan. Now, I hope you have understood this first challenge. If in case you have understood this first challenge, can you start maybe say yes in the chat box? If in case you have understood it, or if you want me to re repeat, I'll repeat it again. Okay, Mukesh is saying yes. Other kids, kids in the chat box, you can you can maybe okay, Bhuvan, yup. So you can say yes, yup. Why? What do we feel like? Okay. So most of you are saying yes. So let's let's try and understand this further, and let's move to the second challenge. Now, in the second challenge, what happens is that you are traveling in Mars, and you see a lot of kids. Okay, are having more water. Some kids are having two water, two water bottles. Some are having three water bottles. Some are having four, and some are even wasting water. What will you do? Will you stick to your plan? Or like other kids, you will also start consuming two water bottles or three water bottles. Kids, if you can put your answer in the chat box, what will you do? You see other people having like two water bottles. Some are even wasting water. Some are having three water bottles. What will you do? So yes, I can see some answers like stick to the plan, stick to the plan. Okay, anyone else? Anyone has a different view? Collect. Okay, which is interesting. Uh, collect whoever is wasting. See, when they are wasting, means basically they are they are wasting it anyway. You can't collect it, but okay, you can still collect it. I get your point. I get your point. Okay, stick to the plan. And 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 this is a very logical and a very rational way of looking at it. You know what? We all of us have got different water bottles, and we have to stick to our plan. But let's try to understand this from a real life perspective. See, many a times we make interesting demands from our parents, and we don't realize that basically our parents have got different water bottles. Okay. Some of our parents have got less water bottles, got more water bottles. So basically, everybody has got different water bottles, and unfortunately, we don't understand this, and we start comparing. Dad, mom, maybe he and she has got this. Why have I have? Why why is that? I am not able to do that. Okay. Similarly, when actually you start earning and saving, you will realize that you will also get different water bottles. The idea is very simple. Somebody might start their journey with few water bottles. Some might get more water bottles, and the idea is. You have to build your own plan, and you have to stick with your own plan. Don't copy what others are doing. Stick to your own plan. It's as simple as that. I hope you are able to understand this challenge number two. Can you please put yes in the chat box? Okay, perfect. Thank you. So now let's move ahead and let's try to understand a little bit more interesting things about money and investments. So as you are moving into Mars, you realize that you know what? There's a possibility that you can lose your water bottles. Now, if you lose your water bottles, water is so precious. But there is a very interesting thing. There is a friendly dog at Mars. So this friendly dog, if in case you want this friendly dog with you, you will have to give one sip of water every day to this dog. Okay, you will have to give. There's no other option. Now, if you lose your water bottles, this friendly dog will actually get all your water bottles. Okay, this this dog is very friendly. If you misplace, then he will get all the water bottles. Now what will you do? Will you keep this dog and give him a sip of water, or you will say, "Why should I waste water on the dog?" Okay, I will not lose my water bottles. What will you do? Okay, forget forget from a pet perspective. Forget that you love dogs and pet. Think it think it think it from a risk perspective. Don't think that you know what we love dogs. Forget that for a, for a second right now. Bhuvan is saying, "I will keep it." Bhuvan, can you explain why will you give why why will you keep the dog? Can you type the answer? 
and anyone who's saying that basically you'll you'll keep the dog and you'll give a sip uh sip is like an insurance and water protection and uh, rajshree you are bang on you are absolutely right so basically it's as simple as that that sip of water is like insurance so just try to understand this from a very logical perspective you know what i've got a kid i've got my family my wife my mom can something happen to my life the answer is yes if something happens to me who takes care of my family financially the answer is what i've done is i have taken a simple thing called as a life insurance similarly can something happen to my health and if in case there is a big medical emergency who will take care of it i've taken a health insurance similarly i drive my car very safely but still can i have an accident the answer is yes i've taken a car insurance so wherever you see any financial risk it's like having a giving a small sip to the dog a friendly dog i understand you might say it's a cost but the good part is that ideally it will help you manage your risk in a very logical way now once you have understood the benefit of insurance let's go to the next topic very important extremely important example now this example is very important from a money perspective and also from a life perspective now as you are moving into mars as you are moving into mars you realize that water is extremely precious but there is one person who is actually promising you that he will give you three water bottles three times water bottle every day so if you give him one water bottle he promises that he will give you three water bottles next day if you give two water bottles to this person he will give you six if you give him three he will give you nine so basically he's promising you to make it three times wo kehta hai main isko teen guna kar dunga in fact kuch bacche hain jo wahan khade hain there are some kids who are standing over there and they are saying you know what yesterday we gave one water bottle we got three today we completely trust this person what will you do will you also trust this person and give your water bottles or you will say you know what i don't trust him what if he, what if he runs runs away with my water bottle i will not give what will you do will you give or you will not trust this person and not give yes or a no you can put your answer in the chat box okay so okay i can trust so rajshree is saying can't trust uh, some of you say it's physically impossible somebody is saying trust him so i'm getting a very interesting mixed response somebody of most of you are saying you won't trust but some of you are also saying that you can trust him now let's let's try to think it from this perspective the question is water is very scarce over here how is this person actually giving you three times water now it's quite possible you know it's quite possible that you might give him one bottle and he gives you three the next day but you know why he's doing it if in case if he gives he is just winning your trust and the moment he wins your trust then what you will do you will give all your water bottles and then possibly he might run away so basically understand in life there is nothing called as easy returns if anybody promises you that you know what give me money i will double this money i will triple this money very soon very fast all these promises are false promises and unfortunately people fall prey to all these false promises if somebody says join my join my coaching academy and i will i will help you okay come first in class in just one day with one, my one day teaching it's impossible okay if somebody says join my cricket academy i'll make you a virat kohli in just two months you will say it's impossible the idea is these things these magic wands are not there the idea is a lot of people actually sometimes fool us by making us false promises and we should be very vigilant if you don't understand something don't invest but always always question how is it this possible always think about it and this is very important when you deal with money and investments now let's go to the second the next challenge and let's try to understand how you achieve your goals and how you become wealthy now let's try to understand this asset class about becoming wealthy and that's called as equity a very interesting example so right now i can see 70 participants over here just imagine like we all 70 of us we are actually in the same class and when i talk to all of you you know what you all of you are telling me that you know what uh, you guys are very smart very intelligent and you are all sorted in life you all of you know ki what you want to do when you grow up somebody wants to become an engineer and start its manufacturing company somebody wants to be a doctor and open a an hospital somebody wants to make movies and become a movie producer somebody wants to open a bakery 
somebody wants to open a bookstore somebody wants to open okay they like fitness and they want to have a fitness studio so everybody will have amazing businesses even i want to become rich like all of you because i know you will become very rich because you are investing into amazing businesses even i want to become rich what should i do a very simple thought i can also invest into your businesses as simple as that now when i invest into all your businesses i become partner in your businesses and as your businesses and companies are growing even i become rich along with you this in a very simple terms is called as equity investment now you might ask which are these companies and how i can i invest from a real life perspective and look at life in general just look around look around in your house and everything what you touch are basically companies when you brush your teeth it's pepsi dent or a colgate when you have some homework of art and craft you use fevicol it's a pedialyte company if you're wearing chappals it's relaxo when you are wearing as shoes it's bata all listed companies so right now we are doing the session on technology i'm using reliance jio bro broadband i also have a airtel broadband listed companies when you have maggi nestle when you actually go to a bank hdfc or a icici all these companies are there you can invest into all these companies i'm not recommending you any of these companies i'm just telling you all these businesses are there and you can invest into these businesses is as these businesses are growing even your money is growing okay i can see some thing on the chat box computer bhuvan very interesting thing computer i'm using basically even i'm using a computer okay uh, it's also a listed company leave out computer even we are doing this session on zoom zoom is also a listed company microsoft is a listed company apple iphone is a listed company google google is a listed company alphabet you use youtube instagram facebook all are listed companies so basically you can invest into indian companies you can invest into global companies that's called as equity but now let's try to understand the risk about equity the risk of equity and i'll try to highlight and share it for you so the risk of equity is something like this so let's start with something over here so first thing should i invest all my money into one business can you say in the chat box yes or no no so bhuvan is saying no anyone else should i invest all my money into one business kids if you can put your answer in the chat box amol is saying no what if the company fails rahul is saying no 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 unanimously everybody is saying no risky and absolutely right you are bang on it's risky if i put all the money into one business it's very risky but now if i put all the money into a lot of businesses so let's say you're 70 of us if i put money in, in all your businesses then what happens my risk comes down that's called diversification so if i invest into a lot of businesses my risk will come down now does it mean that i will get guaranteed returns is there something called as guarantee when you start your business when you start your business can you say something like guarantee no and you say no in business there is no guarantee but we all know businesses do very well so now look at the blue line how the journey of businesses look like in the blue line you can see first it went down then it went up then it went down then it went okay and then it went up then it went down then it went up down up down it went up down and then it went up now if you understand this journey you will realize something very interesting that this journey of equity market okay is basically a journey of ups and downs there are ups there are downs there are ups there are downs there are ups there are downs sometimes there are ups sometimes there are downs but over a longer period of time let's say 10 years 15 years 20 years the journey is only upwards so if you are investing into equity that is businesses you have to invest for at least 10 years plus now what happens if you are investing for long period the journey is generally upwards but if you are investing for short period let's say 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 year or let's say even 5 years it's quite possible that the journey might be up or it might be it might not be a great journey or it might be slightly down okay but as your years increase your journey is generally upwards so the first thing in equity is that you make amazing wealth wealth means your money grows a lot but it goes through ups and downs but the tenure okay the number of years are long the returns are generally on the higher side this in simple terms is called as equity 
or basically there is something called as equity investment over here now these are also called as shares now you can also see a yellow line over here it's called fixed income you might ask how is fixed income different from equity now let's say if you have to start your business i can i can invest into your business in two ways first i can give you money i am becoming a part owner in that company that's called equity second way is i give money to you and you promise to pay that money back to me with interest that is called as fixed income now what happens let's say i give you 100 rupees after one year or two year you give me interest and you return that 100 rupees that's called as fixed income so what happens in fixed income you don't get you don't make amazing returns you make very smooth moderate returns aapke returns bahut theek thaak bante hain but isme ups and downs bahut kam hote hain just to show you with a drawing that the journey of fixed income is almost like a straight line but on the other hand the journey of equity market is ups and downs but in long term it is generally upwards so now a very simple thought which is a better asset class equity or fixed income and ideally it all depends upon what is your time horizon if you are investing for one year two year three year four year five year then actually fixed income is the better option but if you are investing for 15 years 10 years 15 years 20 years then ideally equity mutual funds are a better option now you might ask how is that and how do we say that so i'll give you my personal example i'm around 40 years old my son is around 10 <laughs> for his higher education which i might require money after another 15 years okay that money from the last 10 years i've been putting into equity and i've got another 15 years that money i'm putting into equity because i've got 15 years for my retirement i'm putting into equity because i've got 20 years but for money which i require after one year so let's say i have to pay my son's annual fees every year that money i'm putting into fixed income i have to go for vacations maybe let's say after two years that money i put into fixed income i have to maybe buy a car after three four years that money i put into fixed income which is very safe money which i require after 10 years 15 years 20 years that money goes into equity as as asset class i hope all the kids are able to understand what is equity and what is fixed income and understands the benefit of both of them if in case you can put yes in the chat box okay i am assuming that all of you are saying yes karan thank you for your yes yeah, okay i'm getting few yeses thanks for your feedback now let's try to understand this and understand what is a mutual fund over here now you might say oh god there are so many companies so many uh, and, and which company should i invest okay because i just told you about so many companies which are the good companies the good part is uh, in our group okay i'll just name somebody randomly there's something somebody called as i'm just taking a random name there's somebody called priyanka okay this priyanka in our group we realize that priyanka is very smart she's very intelligent she knows which companies are good because she does all the research now she's a batchmate we don't know which companies are good so what we can do is we can call up priyanka and say priyanka can you help us find the good companies but priyanka will say okay i will do it for you but why should i do it for free yes she's smart she's intelligent she's doing all the research why will she do for free so we'll pay a small fees to priyanka so priyanka is basically a mutual fund what is a mutual fund there is a fund manager and they have a team so in the team they have got banking analyst a pharma pharma means the medicines okay all these companies are called pharma companies which deal with medicine so basically we have got a pharma analyst okay all these analysts are somebody who actually do a lot of good study about all these companies so there is a fund manager and there is a team of analyst together they are doing all the research so what is a mutual fund people like you children like you me your parents my parents across the country thousand lakhs and crores of investors they give money to a mutual fund and a mutual fund company now invest into all the good research companies So let's say out of these nine companies, we didn't knew which were the best companies. Now a mutual fund manager realized, oh, these are the three good companies. They will invest into these good companies, and first of all, they will diversify your money, and at the same time, they will actually try very hard to grow this money over a longer period of time. And this is what a job of a mutual fund manager is. The job is as a team, they find good companies, and with these good companies, they try to grow the money over a longer period of time. now you have understood mutual funds you have understood equity you have understood fixed income 
now something very interesting happens and this is where you learn a lot about how wealth is getting created now what happens over here you know what at mars you meet actually friendly aliens over here we have generally been told that aliens are bad okay they have always been attacking us but for for a change you find amazing friendly aliens these aliens are very good but the problem is that they are very extremely 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 emotional in nature so when they also invest into our equity markets okay they are they investing into our indian equity markets now what happens is that when markets go up they start dancing they feel very happy about it okay and they put a lot of money when markets go up and when markets go down they start crying okay and they remove the money in the loss again when markets go up they start dancing they start feeling very happy about it they invest again when markets go down they start crying and they remove the money in the loss now you have understood basically how the journey of equity market looks like what advice will you give to these friendly aliens if you can put in the chat box okay so rajshri is saying that you should manage emotions uh bhuvan you are right you should invest in different companies but just because you have invested in different companies this doesn't mean that markets will not fall so like during covid times okay when there was a covid a lot of businesses faced challenges the value of those businesses came down so uh, even if you diversify okay stay continue manage emotions anyone else any different answer so we've got two interesting answers manage emotions and uh, continue with your investments and basically both of them are absolutely right the only advice which you should give okay a friendly suggestion or advice you should give to your aliens is that you know what please 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 stay invested don't get too emotional about markets going up and down you have to tell them that markets going up and down is a part of the journey you have to stay invested and do nothing and if you give tell them how to manage emotions they will actually be able to create wealth they will not make the mistakes of getting too happy when markets go up and they will also not make a mistake of getting too sad when the markets go down tell them to manage their emotions now you have taught the aliens and now you also understood that you have to stay invested and manage emotions manage your emotions now this this 60 kids over here okay you were not randomly just told for a picnic to go to mars there was a mission mars and what was his mission your mission was to make mars green we all know mars is basically a red hot planet so basically it was to make mission it was it was basically to make uh, mars green now you were given a magical tree the magical tree the size of this magical tree is only 0.5 feet but the beauty of magical tree is that whenever you take this to mars it doubles its size every day it's a 10 day trip so first day 0.5 next day it will become 1 then it will become 2 4 8 and things like that now do you think in 10 days will you be able to achieve that mission of making this tree as as tall as 100 feet yes or no and yes then how if no then why anyone okay and 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 bhuvan and uh, uh, rajneesh can you explain the maths behind it how is possible so basically it's like power of compounding which is a very simple thing what is power of compounding we are we are doubling over here like 0.5 feet becomes 1 2 4 next day it becomes 8 16 32 64 128 one so on the seventh day itself basically the tree has become more than 100 feet this is an extremely important principle which you all of us have to understand the hero in the entire story is actually time so what happened on the first few days you will realize your tree is not growing at all 0.5 1 you will say oh god only 9 days are left it's still only 1 feet second day it's only 2 you will say only 8 days left i've got 98 feet to cover third day only 4 feet you will say oh my time is getting over fourth day it's only 8 feet but now magic is happening 4 becomes 8 8 becomes 16 16 becomes 32 32 becomes 64 so it took it took so many days to become 64 but then 64 becomes 128 in just one day and this is what we talk about the principle of magic of compounding so what is compounding that earlier you start the better it's for you to grow your money i'm not saying your money doubles basically even if your money grows let's say at 10% or 11% or 12% in an equity mutual fund over a longer period of time your money is growing 
and the more time you give to your investment that's where the magic happens so understand a very important principle which is called as giving time to your investments which is called compounding last but not the least as investors you should do something called as sip what is sip in a very simple terms it's called systematic investment plan sip basically means investing on a monthly basis i have been doing sip from last 16 years i earn let's say 100 rupees i spend enjoy with my money with my friends family and everyone i i spend 50 bucks the remaining 30 40 50 rupees i do a monthly sip okay just as an example if i'm earning 100 so sip is basically a simple way of investing now you can also tell your parents dad mom please do an sip for me either they can actually do an sip specifically telling you you know what we have done this sip for you or they can also actually do investment in your name there is an option called as children's gift fund where investments can happen in your name your own name and you can see your money grow there is also that possibility the objective of today's session was actually to introduce about money the topics what we learned okay first was that as kids you should plan and start early second thing is we discuss about once you build your plan you should follow your plan third thing is what we also discussed is that insurance is a must fourth thing what we understood is that fixed income or fds are safe but it will not help you grow your money fifth thing what we understood that equity we should invest into equity it helps you grow your money but the journey is full of ups and downs we also understood that when markets go through ups and downs we have to manage our emotions we also understood that the only way to grow your money is compounding and give time to your investments and last but not the least you should do sips as soon as possible tell your parents to start an sip tell your parents to start an sip in your name and maybe you can invest basically in your name in a children's gift fund also now as homework now and i'm not going to give you a boring homework this will be a very interesting homework there are around 20 videos made by warren buffett one of the smartest wealthiest investor in the world and these are animated videos just go on youtube and write secret millionaire club it's these are very interesting 21 videos and all videos will teach you one principle about investments they will teach you about how to start your business teach you all the principles learn from those businesses learn from those principles and you'll become a very smart investor last but not the least you should start early as possible warren buffett says the best investment what you can do in life is the investment in yourself and this is what we are trying to do we are helping you to grow and learn about money and investment at a very young and a early stage we are putting the small seed of learning about money at a young age ask talk to your parents about it talk to your mutual fund distributor okay your parents also have a mutual fund distributor talk to them okay ask a lot of questions with them learn be curious and that's how you'll become a very good investor when you grow up with this we will end the session i hope you have understood the session i hope you enjoyed the session i hope your children's day today is actually happy and prosperous because if you understand these principles i'm sure you'll be very happy and you'll be extremely prosperous if you have any questions we are happy to answer thank you what about crypto a very interesting thought uh, i'll i'll show uh, alpha has asked can i show my slide number 3 okay so first question is about crypto and crypto's answer is somewhere over here so you know why a lot of people actually invested into crypto simple example a lot of people were actually seeing their money grow okay uh, it's like the same one bottle water bottle becoming three times uh, and and what i told you if if you don't understand something don't do it and the reason why a lot of people invested into crypto because your money was growing at that time okay and they were very happy with it if you look at india's rbi governor india's government they have categorically said that crypto is a fraud crypto is a scam crypto is gambling this is what india's rbi governor is saying they have warned us even warren buffett actually warned okay that this is a fraud one should not invest into it very simple thing but still you know why people invested because when you see your money growing very fast okay people forget and these are false promises when somebody says invest and this money will double or triple and these are mistakes what people do 
don't invest into crypto stay up in uh, invested into simple equity mutual funds stay invested into fixed income these are two amazing asset classes which will help you achieve your goals well one uh, one person named raj mentioned that uh, you can definitely become millionaire in crypto the only thing is you have to start as a billionaire <laughs> now but what has happened in last one week i think the billionaire became a became a zero near in a matter of five days so <laughs> not even sure that uh, you can start as a billionaire and stay a millionaire all right so great amit i think this was fantastic i think the flow the way you explained about uh, <clears throat> or uh, about the investment concepts along with the analogy of investing i think this is wonderful i am sure people here would have gotten some uh, some understanding although we also understand and appreciate that this is not a very simple thing to absorb and uh, will take much more time and i think the homework which you gave to them so anyone who is serious about it will definitely go ahead and look at that homework uh, sure. what i think we should also do amit is i think this is a wonderful session and i think we can plan couple of more versions around it if not exactly in the same fashion but maybe couple of more uh, concepts around the same thing right sure. so we will get back to you with that uh, i am sure uh, i am sure you will a lot of people are interested in having some more versions of the session which you will do now i think there are one or two more questions which i have noticed and i will let me let me open, open that up for for all of you so i think one uh, thing in fact uh, more than a question this is more of a thing which i have noticed from as far as i am concerned so i have two children i have right one is <laughs> one is 14 and one is 8 and i have opened their bank accounts right so i think uh, before they even invest first thing which we, we, we can perhaps do is to open uh, is to open the bank account for our children and then maybe do a very small if not if not a high at least start doing some sip or anything in their name so let them see the statement let them see how it looks like that right? i think giving them that feel can make a significant amount of difference uh, what do you what do you think amit absolutely uh, actually teaching kids are extremely important in fact i have done a sip in my son's name and i keep on showing him the value sometimes he feels happy when it goes up and sometimes i feel very happy in fact there are time when i feel happy when markets go down because i want to teach him that you know what markets also goes through downs okay yes. and and he should learn from those principles so I if he, if he teach those, uh, if children learn learn at a early age it, it's very good because we learned it very late i Correct. hope our children learn it at a, at a right age no absolutely i think that's a very interesting thing you mentioned that you should have invested in their name and let them feel good or bad about it uh, and that is how they are going to learn nobody learns otherwise everything else ends up remaining theory only okay there is a question on fd basically fd is a fixed deposit uh, love that question <laughs> right i think uh, i have to be asked or that. or you can say fixed income so fd and fixed yeah. income are quite similar okay they yes. they they basically help you they they keep your money safe okay but they don't grow much but they help you grow grow moderately i think who who asked the question i'm sorry i think the question was uh, about what is sip oh lovely amit <laughs> want to take that question so sip you know what uh, so next time when 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 somebody says na smile okay and we say na cheese <laughs> try try saying sip you will get a be- better smile okay uh, say sip you will get a bigger smile what is sip what is sip it's systematic investment plan it's basically investing on a monthly basis it's like you giving an instruction to to a mutual fund that every month you want to invest some amount every month and the moment you give an instruction that amount of money goes into an equity mutual fund okay on a monthly basis so that's called an sip it's a standing instruction it's investing on a regular disciplined way of investing so what we lack most of us is discipline sip brings discipline to all of us it keeps on investing on a monthly basis so that's in a very simple terms called sip exactly it's like going to school or going to play every day वेरी Uh, in between you don't leave when anything goes wrong and that is where you become great at those things similar is a case with investing be it sip or be it any other uh, investing great uh, so there are certain technical questions as far as sip 1 to 2 1 to uh, there are certain technical questions on sip platform i think that we can take separately i will not take so this session 
we will not spend time on operation details. What my request to all of you is, if you have any such questions, please reach out to our partners uh, who have uh, who have in, who are invited to do this uh, to this program, and they will help you out. Sure. So I think uh, we'll probably take one or two more questions. So and then we can wrap it up. Oh, all right. So interesting question. One crore in twenty five years. How much SIP? Just divide by twelve, my friend. <laughs> Okay, this is good. See, you know what? Uh, uh, it's it's a very simple maths formula. Okay, uh, these are basically simple financial calculators which are available, which can help you figure it out. Intuitively, I think for twenty five years, it might be around eight thousand rupees per month. Intuitively, I'm thinking I I I'm not I don't, I don't have the calculator in front of me, but intuitively, I think uh, eight thousand rupees per month at twelve percent, you should be able to make. Correct. Uh, Absolutely. No, I'm with your bang on. So is, if we, is it, is it right? Have, oh, then then right. that's um, you're okay, absolutely this. right. So I have a thirty-year calculation, which I know it is about three thousand something. But the moment you take it up to twenty-five years, that amount comes to about seven eight thousand rupees. So you are absolutely there. I think you are a ready right now for us now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a simple guess, guesswork. Simple guesswork. <laughs> no, no, absolutely, you are you are there. So good question, uh, excellent question, and uh, uh, and good and uh, very. A prompt answer by by Amit. So uh, great, yeah. So first of all, uh, Amit, I uh, appreciate again. I think this is the third time you are doing some engagement with us, starting with engagement for our team, for our partners, and now for our for our investors and the children. Uh, so you have completed almost every everyone we deal with, <laughs> right? So okay. thank you very very much. Uh, okay. I think this was very innovative. Uh, thanks to all of you. Thanks to our partners for bringing up uh, for bringing the. Uh, for being there on the i'm sorry for being there and bring uh, bringing children along very nice to have you guys all there i know see finance investing is slightly complex and will take a little more time this is about laying a foundation and then we'll take it out from there and finally a big thank you to all our partners uh, who have uh, brought all of you here and uh, before we go before we leave a happy children's day to all the young ones present here and we wish you a fantastic and an incredible uh, success in your life and uh, in your health Great. Have a great evening. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, you Ashish. Uh, Thank you, team. Uh, Asset Plus. Uh, happy Children's Day, children. Thank you. Great. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.